Thanks for clicking on my video. I hope you like it and you'll subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating a desiccant. Now what a desiccant is, is something that sucks the moisture out of the air. Now you might have noticed the little packets that come in maybe a pair of shoes or a bottle of pills or something that was shipped to you uh, that might absorb moisture. Well what a desiccant does is it takes the moisture out of the air and keeps it from getting into your products. Uh, what we're going to do is create a large desiccant that you can use to eliminate the moisture inside your keyser. Uh, using a desiccant in combination with a fan that will circulate the air um, will help keep your moisture down and might just eliminate any uh, buildup that could be home for mold and mildew. Uh, you could also use these in a closet, uh, in a drawer, uh, any place that you might have some moisture issues, a desiccant will come in handy. So follow along and we'll go through the process. I don't know how many of you have had this issue, but I've had an issue in the past with my keyser getting moisture in it and that moisture causing mold to grow in the keyser and on my kegs. Well, uh, I've uh, been able to keep it in check somewhat by putting a little fan, little small computer box fan in the keyser. That circulated the air enough to keep it somewhat in check, but I still have issues with moisture. Um, one thing I did is I got a desiccant. Now, I picked these up at the dollar store, they cost a buck, and I got a couple of them right here. Uh, these are the dollars, this is the dollar store brand, um, obviously, cost a buck. Uh, what this is, is a container filled with the desiccant material, and let's see, if you look, it's split in two with the uh, pellets of the desiccant on top and it's open on the bottom. Now I had another one of these in the keyser and I'll show you in a second what happens. Uh, you, again, this from the dollar store, they sell them, a uh, brand name of them is called Damp Rid. Uh, I'm sure there's probably others, but what this does is the chemical in here absorbs the water and what it does is it actually um, drips the water down into the bottom half of the container and then uh, eventually the chemicals in it, uh, the pellets, dissolve and turn into water because they absorb the moisture and the moisture drips down into the container and then you no longer have any pellets. Here's one of them that I had and if you see uh, there's a bunch of liquid in it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see but it's, it's uh, totally dissolved all the chemicals. Uh, this took probably six months maybe for that to happen. Now let me explain how this container is put together. Uh, on the top of the container is a lid and under the lid is a membrane and this is a one-way membrane. What it does is it allows air and moisture to go in but it doesn't allow it to come back out. Uh, hold it upside down it doesn't come back. Uh, I'm not sure how that works uh, but uh, I don't have any kind of material like that, but uh, they do have it on here. And when you first get these things, there's a film on the top, and you just peel the film off, and it's ready to go. Put the lid back on it. You'll notice the lid has... Uh, Honey, honeycomb holes or I don't know what you'd call that but a bunch of holes that keep the uh, membrane in place should it come out and let the air in and it'll turn to water. Well the principle of this is pretty simple and the chemicals in it are pretty simple. Uh, the chemical they use for this is called calcium chloride. Uh, you can google that and you find out exactly that it is that. Um, calcium chloride is one of the best desiccants available and it's not all that expensive. I mean here there's probably I'm guessing maybe a cup and a half of it in here uh, if even that and the container and everything's not worth much so that's why it costs a buck. Well 
Calcium chloride is a fairly readily available chemical. Uh, if you live in a cold part of the world, um, you might use it during the winter as an ice melt. In fact, uh, here's some I bought today. Uh, I needed a, some ice melt. I'm almost out. Uh, this is Prestone Driveway Heat brand, 100% calcium chloride. Uh, calcium chloride works really good for um, melting ice. They claim on this container, and I don't know if that's for real, that it melts four times as much ice as rock salt. Well, this is a oh, nine and a half pound container um, compared to this little thing. I imagine there's just as much calcium chloride in here as there would be in maybe 15, 20 of these things. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for this, uh, the cost of 10 of these. Uh, but since I got it on hand, I can make my own damp rid uh, moisture eliminator. Uh, so I looked online and people have got a lot of different ways they do it. In the past I've taken some stuff like this and just hung it in the keyser in a sock, an old sock, just filled it up and let it hang there. Uh, that worked okay, it sucked it in. Uh, every once in a while I could take the sock out and let it dry um, in a dry area or you could uh, roll the, uh, take the chemical out, put it on a cookie sheet, stick it in your oven for a while, and let it bake all the moisture out. Uh, I'm sure that would work fine. The chemicals that I had put in the sock was just standard uh, sodium chloride, not calcium chloride, or not sodium chloride, um, cal well, another salt type material. And it worked okay. Um, but you pick up the sock and the sock was crusted in salt from all the moisture in it. Uh, it was kind of a mess. What I came up with is I'm going to kind of duplicate this with some deli containers. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I've got a, a two cup container, pint container, and a quart container. It just happens that these pint containers fit right inside the quart containers. So what I think I'm going to do is figure out a way to put the chemical in the top half of the container, drill some holes in the lid, drill some holes in the bottom of the top container, and just put those together. And I've got essentially the same thing here as I have here. Now, the only uh, difference that I'm gonna have though is that I don't have the two-way membrane on top, or the one-way membrane on top, that lets liquid in but doesn't let it out. Uh, I know of no way of anything that I can have on hand that I can do that with, but what I will do is probably uh, stick a paper towel on top so if it does spill, at least it'll catch some of the moisture and it won't let the chemical spill out of the top. Um, I'll also put a paper towel on the inside of the container uh, so that the pellets, which are pretty small, uh, don't fall through until they've turned to moisture and they drip down. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, hope you can follow along. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is drill some holes in this container. Now, I'll go ahead and leave the lid on here while I drill the holes in the lid uh, so it'll catch any shavings and I'm going to probably drill about 15 holes here Pretty flexible lid. It's kind of trash in it, but doesn't really matter. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um. The 
the other container is pretty wide open on the top, so I'm going to try and make this as wide open as I can possibly make it, and still keep it intact. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, that's good enough for now. Next thing I'm going to do, uh, after I tear off some of the little things hanging down on the inside, smooth it out a little bit, uh, drill some holes in the bottom of this so that it has a place to drain. Same thing, bunch of holes. Chain is a little tighter than the lid. Hmm. Surprise the containers stronger than the lid. Hmm. I'd like to have more holes than what I got here. Uh, let's try some in the corner. I drill holes around the edge. I think that's really the lowest part. All right. Pretty much made it all the way around the edge. So, holes in the bottom. Holes in the top. Now last, what I'm going to do is so that this thing doesn't come apart easily, I've got a couple uh, small nuts and bolts on the table here. I'm going to uh, connect, I'm going to connect the containers by drilling a hole through both containers. And on opposite sides, so that they will stay together and not come apart. Got some nuts here, put them on it. Close enough going to snug them up. They don't have to be super tight. Put them on opposite sides so it'll come apart. If I get it started. Alright, so screws in the inside holding together. Now all I need to do put a uh, uh, liner in it and be good to go. Now I don't know if uh, there are other things you could do besides a paper towel. I know maybe if you have some sort of a uh, like the end of a nylon stocking I suppose he's probably put in there. Um, do like I did before inside the keyser. Fill up a small sock with a bunch of the chemical and just shove the sock in there filled up that would be easy enough um, for the time being though I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper towel and I just happen to have some paper towels over here and in addition to the paper towels got a pair of scissors so I'm just gonna The paper towel on the bottom, and this paper towel will go over the top. Put the uh, lid on it, and we have 
a moisture eliminator. You can even uh, cut the edges off. And there we have it. Now all I gotta do, fill it up with ice melt. Well, thought there was a, line, a seal on this container, but apparently there's not. So, pop the lid. Fill it up. All right. Build it up there. Hardly used any of it. Now I do notice some of it is in the bottom. I'm going to pack it in a little bit just to see if uh, yeah, some of it got got it behind the paper towel, but we're in good shape. Put the lid on to hold it in place. That together. There we go. Made one of these. Just like this. Stick that in my keyser. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take for it to absorb liquid, but it should work just as well as this. Uh, and didn't cost me much. Hardly used any of the calcium chloride. Well. I hope this was a helpful video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you appreciated it. If you like it, uh, give me a heads up, give me a like, and please subscribe. Thank you.